Well, some of the claims made in the book have prompted some renewed questions about security after Prince Harry shared details of his military record while serving in Afghanistan, saying that he'd killed 25 Taliban fighters. Well, a little bit earlier, we spoke to Lord Kim Darroch, the former National Security Advisor, and here's what he told us. Personally, if I'd been advising um, the Prince, I would have advised against the kind of detail that he goes into. I believe it was a, a just war, and therefore you know, what he has written about, how he justified to himself what he was doing, I can understand and appreciate that. But in terms of the detail, I personally wouldn't have gone there, but it's done now. Well, in a moment, I'll be speaking to our royal correspondent, Laura Bundock, who's at Buckingham Palace for us this morning. Uh, but first, uh, with more on the revelations contained in the book, Sky's Katie Spencer is here with me. And, Katie, it really is extraordinary, isn't it, in terms of the, the how candid he is and how many revelations there actually are, not least over his time in Afghanistan. Yeah, it, it is very interesting how much detail he's felt the need to, to give in terms of particularly things like his uh, time that he spent in Afghanistan, given his concerns that he's spoken about in the past about the security for his family and how he feels that uh, since leaving the UK he hasn't had the same security detail and the same protection, um, to, to go on and to detail how many Taliban fighters he knows that he's killed, certainly one would think that that does up the risk that he has now uh, given for his, his family in terms of revealing details like that. If you look in certain countries and the Twitter reaction to that um, revelation in particular, it, it certainly has provoked a strong reaction in some countries. Um, look, there's a lot of revelations in this book. It's, a, it's a, a big book. This is a Spanish copy that we've got hold of. The translations that we've been working through to, to get this back into English there are so many news lines that he gives here. Yes, he talks about how he found out about the death of his mother. Uh, he comes across as a, a terribly sad, a terribly damaged individual in this. He talks about the PTSD that he experiences, panic attacks, his time that he's had to uh, spend in therapy since then. Um, it's a lot of sharing. Clearly, he wants to be someone that advocates talking about your mental health for, for very good reasons, but you do end up wondering just how how the effect of, of sharing so much will be on him. It, he says that he dislikes the, the tabloids with, with a real um, anger towards how they've treated him and his family in the past, but he is, with this book, feeding them so many lines of, of details about his life, many of details of which were perhaps unnecessary that we didn't need to know. He talks, uh, there's moments that he comes across as being quite petty, quite petulant. He talks about his brother's hair loss being worse than his own. He um, makes references to things like the, the Nazi uniform that he uh, ended up wearing as a, to a fancy dress party. And whilst trying to apologise, he also wants to slip in details about how well uh, his brother William and, uh, and Kate were also aware of what him, the fact that he was going to be wearing that uniform. Um, so it, 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 at times it sounds very bitter, at times it sounds very petty, but the, the main overriding sense you get from this book is just how sad and damaged he is by, by the things that he's gone through. Indeed. Well, Casey, thanks very much indeed.